Hey, it's Marshall from Going Gear, and today we're going to take a look at a really special light. This isn't the one I'm talking about, although it is a special light. This is the 4.7's Maelstrom G5 with the S2 LED. I'm going to leave the other one for a surprise right now. This is going to be the comparison, because as you're going to see in a minute, a mag light's not going to come even close to cutting it this time. And I did not bring one with me, because we are out in Las Vegas for the SHOT Show right now. Um, we're out in the Red Rock uh, Canyon area. So let's try out the Maelstrom first, and we'll see how it does, and then... I'll show you something that you've never seen before. There's your Maelstrom G5 with the S2. Um, you can't really see it out here. Actually, you can probably see kind of the skyline out there. There's a ridge of uh, hills or mountains back there, probably about four or 500 yards away. Um, I'll get a better distance when I get back to the hotel. Use Google Earth and see if I can figure it out. But here's kind of the, the desert area in front of that. So that's all the area in front of it. Alright, let's try out that other light I was talking about. Not even going to tell you what it is quite yet. <laughs> let's go ahead and try it out first. Alright, let's give you a second to enjoy the darkness, build up some dramatic tension, and then we're going to try out this other light. Here you go. Whole heck of a lot of light, right? The thing is, that's the low mode. Let's try out the other modes. There's your medium. And there's your high. Probably completely washing out everything in front of you. Uh, for me, it's honestly too bright <laughs> right here in front of me. Ton of light coming out of this thing. Let's see if we can zoom in on that mountain range back there. Again, that's a good four or five hundred yards out there. You can see it's lightning, lighting everything up. I can see all the details out there. I can make out the individual bushes. My eyesight's actually not that great. <laughs> I, can't, uh, I can't really see out that far and I can still tell little bushes, there's some reflectors out there that someone was kind enough to place for you. Lights all that up with ease. So what the light is, is actually a 4.7's prototype. And we're going to take it back to the hotel so we can have some, uh, some good hotel room lighting and uh, show it to you in a little bit better detail. We'll shine it around a little bit. Shine it around on the mountains just so you can see how much light is coming out of this thing. See if I can get it up a little bit higher. So we can get it off the, the brush in front of me. Crazy amount of light. Alright, let's take a look at this thing in a little bit better detail. Okay, I lied. I'm not taking this guy back to the hotel quite yet. There's your first little peek at it. That's the 4.7's XM18. 18 LEDs in there. 18 XML LEDs. This thing's pretty crazy. Um, but I just shot a video in this road out here got about a hundred yards with some of the smaller lights and I wanted to show you this big beast in the same conditions just to note actually turned the exposure way way down for this um, compared to what the other ones were it was maxed out on the other ones I had to turn it way down because uh, you basically would have just seen a completely white screen uh, on this video and in this one you're just gonna see a mostly white screen <laughs> so let's try this guy out there's your low brightness Still look just a crazy amount of light, and that's not even that's not even medium. That's low. There's your medium. And let's bump it up. There's your high. Let me lift it up so you can see a little bit better. Oops, hit the switch. We'll cycle through the different ones. I'm angling it up so just the spill is hitting the road, not even the hot spot is. And you can see it's like daylight out here, just everything's completely lit up. Ton of ton of light coming out of this thing. We'll cycle through brightnesses again. Sorry for the funny looking operation, my hands are kind of cold. <laughs> and I'm holding it over my head, which is not really this way, the way this guy was meant to be operated. But there you go. You can see the different brightnesses and how they light up. And again, that's just the spill. So there it is pointing at the road again. You can see at this distance, honestly too much light on high. And this is with the exposure, again, turned way, way down. Alright, now let's take this guy inside. Alright, so this is the 47's XM18. Keep in mind this is a prototype, so the final version may be different than this. Um, I just managed to get my hands on it for a few hours. David let me borrow it so I can make this video um, just so we could show you guys this new product. So, XM18, 18 XML LEDs, 
powered by 32 18650 batteries. Crazy amount of power running through this thing. 18,000 lumens. You can see really nice sturdy frame on it. Solid plexiglass lens on it. On the uh, back of it here actually has a cooling fan in there. Battery indicator. There's a charging port. Here's the kill switch right here. And then this switch. Uh, you saw the operation of it before. Kill switch turns it off and on. This is your power button and then pressing and holding it will switch between the brightnesses, double click it and you have strobe. I turned it on but I've already blinded myself about 50 times with this thing and uh, I still have spots from about the last time I did it a half hour ago so I don't really want to do that again. So I'm not going to turn this one on inside because it's, uh, it's just too bright for that. So that's the prototype of the 47s XM18. Final version may be a little bit different. I'm going to see if we can get David tomorrow to talk about this a little bit further. We will, of course, have these when they are available for production. Hopefully they do put these in production because this is just an incredible light. I've never seen anything like it. 18,000 lumens. It's just amazing. So uh, that's it. Hope you enjoyed it.